Okay, we want to solve this system of equations again, but this time we're going to use the substitution method. So what I want to do is take either one of these equations and solve for either variable. But I want to do it so that I make it the, as easy on myself as possible. So what I'm going to do is take this equation and solve it for y. So when I do that, solve this equation for y, I'm just simply going to add negative 2x to both sides. So I end up with y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. So that's an equation equivalent to this one right here. Now I'll take the, this expression for y from this equation and substitute it for y in the other equation. So I solve one of the equations for one of the variables. I take what I get and substitute in for that variable in the other equation. After I do that, I end up with 4x plus 3 times y, which is negative 2x plus 4, is equal to 10. So I take this, expre this expression for y, I substitute it for y in this equation, that gives me this. Well, look what happened. I've eliminated the variable y. So the result is the same as using the addition method. I eliminate one of the variables. Instead of two equations in two variables, I'm left with one equation in one variable. It makes it a lot easier to solve. So here I'll have 4x, um, let's see, 3 times negative 2x, negative 6x, plus 3 times 4 is 12, is equal to 10. 4x minus 6x, negative 2x is equal to, I'll add negative 12 to both sides, negative 2. And so that tells me that x is equal to 1. So that's the x-coordinate of the point of intersection of these two lines right here. To complete the solution, I need to take this value of x, substitute it back into one of these equations, and find the corresponding value of y. Again, I'm going to make it easy on myself, so I'm going to take this value of x, substitute it into this equation, and that will give me y is equal to negative 2 times 1 plus 4. So y is equal to negative 2 plus 4. So y is equal to 2. So there's the y-coordinate of the point of intersection of these two lines right here. And so my solution then is the ordered pair x equal 1, y equal 2. That's the only ordered pair that satisfies both of these equations, and it happens to be the coordinates of the point where they intersect. So once again, substitution method, take either equation and solve for either variable. In this case, this variable is the easiest one to solve for. If I was to try to solve for this variable y here, I'd end up with fractions, or this variable, or this variable. So let's not do that. Let's try to avoid fractions if we can. So I solve this for y, I get this, I take this expression for y, I put it back into the other equation, that leaves me with an equation that has just one variable. I go ahead and solve that. That's one of the coordinates of the points of intersection. I substitute that back into any of these equations. No matter which equation I use, when I substitute x equal 1 back into them, y will be equal to 2. That tells me that the ordered pair x equal 1, y equal 2 is the solution to this system of equations, and I found it by a method called substitution.